Hi guys, welcome to episode 4 of Johor Baru Great Eats. In this episode, discover hidden food gems well loved by the locals for your next Johor Baru food adventure. And be sure to hit the subscribe button so you'll not miss any upcoming episodes of Johor Baru Great Eats. Okay, ready? Let's go! Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're at Dama Sentosa. Behind me, restaurant Sulam. This place was founded in 1987, a hala establishment. This place served really good curry fish head, ota, ikan, asam pedas and many other dishes that only the local knows. So after today, you will know and you guys can come and check it out. Personally, we feel that they serve the best curry fish head in the whole Jawa Baro. Alright, so without much ado, let's go in and check it out. Let's go guys. Hi guys, so we're now inside this restaurant. It's a good thing we came early because they just opened the shuttle, 5.30. So uh, we understand that tonight they're fully booked from 6.30 onwards. So yeah, as you can see behind us, nobody, only me and my wife. So uh, waiting anxiously for to be served the delicious food. So guys, our dishes are here. We ordered five dishes today. Most of the dishes here are really delicious. So we have to choose five. Of course, the curry fish head, which they are very famous for. Right over here is half a head of a red snapper. And over here we have tauge stir fried with uh, salted fish and uh, stir fried vegetable, kailan. And the famous uh, ota. We ordered half an ota, right guys? And uh, this is the uh, deep fried squid in turmeric or they call it the Chotong Goreng Kunyit. Curry is really good. You can taste the aroma of the coconut flavor. It's not too spicy and uh, it's really aromatic. Hey guys, this is really good. And uh, the otak, check it out guys. It's really nice. And to the fish and uh, everything goes into the otak. It's really good. Smooth and uh, not too spicy and not too salty. Really good guys. And uh, of course the uh, Fried squid and turmeric. So, guys, in my hand, super. You can hear the crunchiness of it. Hi, right, guys, check out this squid. It's really crunchy. Well, so fried to perfection. Not hard. Everything's good. It's perfect, guys. So, next time, when you guys want something nice, curry fish and assortment of other dishes, do check out this restaurant, Salam. Really loving the ota here. As you guys can see inside, there's also fish pieces. Very nice texture, very nice bite, very smooth like what my husband's saying and um, smells really good. I can smell the coconut the milk in it. For ota lovers, it's a must try. This sotong really deserves a special mention. It's um, coated with uh, turmeric and um, some flour I believe and then deep fried. This is not oily although it's deep fried and it's very crispy. Mm. When you bite into it, you can taste, you can hear the crunch in your mouth and the sotong inside is still very tender. It's wonderfully executed. It's such a delight to bite into this squid. By the way, the okra here is really well cooked. It's um, just to the right degree of doneness. You know, it's soft and it has soaked in all the um, curry gravy. So the flavor is really exceptional and the texture as well. Mm. So guys, we are almost done with the dishes. So, I must say the fish for the curry is really fresh. Half a head of red snapper. In the sense that there's no fishiness, you can taste that it's very tender, very smooth. So you can tell that this fish is very fresh. It's not frozen, right guys? Probably up from the market this morning. So one thing I must uh, say about this curry, it has a smoky taste in it, which makes it so much different than other curry that we have tasted. Most likely they have it uh, cooked over the banana leaf. You can see it's charred here. Probably that's the uh, Secret recipe why the curry here is so good. Hi guys. Hi guys, we're now at Bokeh Inda here to introduce to you a very, very delicious pork noodle called Pearl Pork Noodles. If you are looking for something easy, delicious, on the go, this is the place. Right guys, let's go and check it out. To 
today we are craving for a simple bowl of uh, noodle. Yep, um, simple but very satisfying, very comforting. And then Johor Bahru, if you are here and you're craving for noodles, be sure to check out their pork noodles. Now there are many stores selling pork noodles in Johor Bahru, but the one that is um, really good, really nice, we feel is this a pearl pork noodle. They have a few branches throughout Johor Bahru, and the one that we are at right now is at Bukit Indah. The soup base is really, really nice. You've got to try it for yourself. So you can have a choice of uh, different kinds of noodles, like the yellow noodles, the bihun, the misua. They have a uh, kuei as well. So it depends on your preference. You can have a different choice of noodles, and um, you can also have different choice of soup base. You can either have the their signature classic. Uh, pork soup. I can tell you that the soup is really good, very concentrated, excellent. Or if you like me, you like something really spicy with the cake, um, go for the mala version. Okay, the mala soup is very potent. It's uh, everything that someone who loves mala will be very happy with. Okay, it's spicy, it's ma and it's la. So definitely have to go for the mala version if you like them, if you like mala. But my husband prefer non mala, so he went for the classic signature pork noodle soup okay and he decides to go for the dry version so it really depends on your preference okay you can you can just take your pig over here so without further ado we're gonna tuck into our noodles and enjoy this simple satisfying noodle to start off our day in Johor Bahru mine is uh, plain without mala my wife loves mala so uh, it comes with a uh, soup base full of uh, Nicely done for pork balls. We have uh, pork, pork, minced pork, and pork liver. And uh, the soup is really good. You know, guys, uh, it's uh, full of flavor. That's why I can say it reminds me of my childhood day when I was uh, a teenage boy and uh, go around the you know, coffee shop. This is the kind of flavor that is very nostalgic. And then, uh, it's really good and the bihun is uh, really soft I got a special sauce in it that tastes really good you hey guys yep very soft and uh, it's a little bit sweet I would say it's really good the sweetness goes well with this uh, a little bit of a saltiness in the in the soup right I would I recommend that you come over here pearl pork noodles at uh, Okinja to give it a try like guys, if you like our content, do give us a subscription and a like. I'm really enjoying this bowl of um, mala pork noodle of Marada Mala Pork Bihun. It's really very addictive. Mm. I'm perspiring a little here from the heat, but it's really so good. I think I can eat this almost every day. So guys, one thing about this, um, pork noodles that since they specialize in pork noodles you can tell that the pork balls is really fresh it's very springy it's very delicious and the minced pork as well it's really soft and guys it's really good the pork itself the meat it's really good it's really fresh guys well, you think I know, so, so in the end. Oh, Okay. 它是叫 
啊，还有这个这个十二号又开多一间在古来。哦，这古来要开了啊！对。Today we are Jaram Beringi, Tama Melodies, Joho Baru, here to check out Melodies Seafood and Curry Fish Head. As the name goes, Curry Fish Head, meaning that they are very famous for the curry fish head here. Only the local knows, and also they serve very very good zhuchar. All right, so without much ado, let's go in and check out the curry fish head. Come on, guys. Order half a fish head, and this is uh, supposed to be their secret recipe passed down from generation. And when they first arrived, we could see that it's bubbling hot, and um, can smell the very aromatic curry spices in it. We're gonna give it a try. Hmm, and it is it's really nice. It's um different from the other curry which we recommended you, but I would say this is, has a more um, Chinese style, you know, with the fried bean curd skin and um, the the mix of vegetable and it's served in a clay pot. The spice level is just nice. So if you love spice and um, something hot and spicy, this will provide enough um, kick. In, in fact, it's quite shook to drink this gravy. Yeah, really good. This one needs no introduction. It's um, the good old Tao Gay that we love. Here, simply stir fry with salted fish and Mm, very good. The tauke, as you can see, it's just a plum fat type of tauke. It's not the thin and stringy type. It's really a bite to it and you can taste the full texture of the tauke. It's very crunchy. It's not too salty and you can taste the salted fish really um, well in this uh, tauke. So I would say that this is very nicely done with salted fish. So the next one we're going to try out here is the uh, black pepper ostrich meat. See how thinly they slice it. Now we're going to give it a try. The texture, you know, tastes a little bit of venison. If you guys have tasted venison before, the ru ru, this tastes a little bit like it. Uh, very chewy. Not hot at all. So you good. You can taste the black pepper in it, the aroma, a little bit of uh, spiciness in it. So it's really good. Not much taste of coconut milk inside, but at the same time, it's very addictive. I don't know why. I just enjoy drinking it. Very aromatic, and I like the spice, the spiciness as well. It's just, it's just very nice to drink. I like this um, fried bean curd. They added to the fish head as well um, because I think once it's softened by the curry, it actually absorbs in the gravy and it's just so nice to bite into it. Uh, there's a crunch, there's a slight crunch, and um, you can taste the curry together with the crunch, which I think is a perfect combination. Just mm. very nice. Um, Sutra area and behind me is Hua Zai Fried Nian Gao. This store specializes in, as the name implies, fried Nian Gao. But besides fried Nian Gao or fried glutinous rice cake, they have goreng pisang and fried durian. 
And they have another version of fried nian gao, which they call three in one fried nian gao. But besides the nian gao, the fried durian here is excellent. It's something quite unique, I would say. If you are a durian lover, definitely have to check out the fried durian. I'm going to show you how the three in one nian gao looks like before they are fried. Right. So the top layer here is the sweet potato. It's, uh, in between is the nian gao itself and below is the yam slice. So guys, we ordered the banana, a durian and a 3-in-1. The 3-in-1 got to wait for 20 minutes, queue number 92. So all in all, it's about $8. Oh, yeah. Hey guys. So guys, this is the fried durian. It's really nice. If you're a durian lover and you like fried goreng pisang, this would be a nice change from goreng pisang. The outer layer that has been deep fried is really very crispy. And it tastes very light. It's not oily at all. It's it's very airy, very crispy, very light. A bit like tempura, but better, I think. And it complements really well with the creamy, soft and creamy durian. And there's a slight bitterness to the durian, so I think they use very good quality durian. Yummy. The nian gao is good, but I think this is something very special and uh, definitely must try when you are here. Hi guys, just collected our order. One goreng pisang or fried banana fritter and one three in one. And now, I'm going to try this three in one. The uh, nian gao is in the middle. We have a yam and a sweet potato. Very good. The one that's the best seller here. The sweet potato and the yam are cooked just nice, soft and um, it's not too sweet, it actually complements really well with the nian gao and the nian gao itself is also not too sweet so really wonderful combination the wonderful thing about this nian gao it doesn't stick to your teeth so it's actually very easy to um, chew on you know so really nice and I really like the fact that it's not too sweet so I'm going to try their goreng pisang this is the goreng pisang, nicely fried, golden brown, right? Mmm, very nice. I really love the batter here. It's so crispy and so crunchy. But at the same time, it's very light. If you know what I mean, it's light and airy, you know. It's not like those batter that's very thick. And the batter here is also very thin. It's just thinly coated. It's just coat the fruit very thinly so you don't feel like you're biting into a thick layer of batter. So it doesn't make you feel like overly gelat, you know, overly full, that kind of thing. So guys, uh, next time you want really good green pisang or the fried fritters, uh, do come over here and check it out. Hi guys, I'm right now at Taman Street, Chobao. Behind me, Sing Steam Fish Restaurant. Although the word steam, steam fish, but it's popular for its fried fish instead. It's frequent by local. Alright guys, so let's go in and check it out. a taste of this fish it looks really good really well deep fried okay it's a deep fried fish and the sauce here is actually made of um, Thai sweet chili sauce and black sauce I think it's a black soya sauce and mayonnaise this restaurant is called Sing Steam Fish but actually the fried fish is more popular and more highly recommended by the staff here mm. It's very good. It's not oily at all. You can taste that the batter is very light. Mm. Too crispy. And somehow it's very lightly. I mean, it's deep fried, but it tastes very light. And it goes very well with the sweet sauce. Right? So, very appetizing. I think kids will love this as well. Although it's a bit of high sweet chili sauce, but it's not actually spicy. Very appetizing. This middle girl is actually their signature dish as well. Mm. 
surprisingly not too bitter. Of course, there's still a bitterness to the bitter god, but it's acceptable. Even for me, I don't like bitter god, but I think this is very nicely done. And it tastes, it's, again, it's very healthy, home-cooked style. Not oily, not greasy. Just the right amount of uh, saltiness. And you, see, you can see that the bitter god here is very, very thinly sliced. It's almost translucent against the light. You can see that. Yeah, it's very nice. Mm. Very healthy. I feel that this restaurant seems to be quite healthy in the way they cook because it's not oily, not greasy, not overly salty. Hi guys, uh, so far the food is really good. I tasted the uh, bakute, superb. The uh, the soup itself, it's not peppery at all. It's like uh, herbal in itself, and it's uh, very nourishing. It feels very good. Not too overwhelming, but it's really tasty. Right then, uh, this lala here or the white clams, and uh, with the rice wine, it's really good. The uh, white clam itself is very fresh, though they look small and not plump, but they're very meaty, right? And this fish, I just tried it, they fried it, deep fried it, and it's very crunchy. Fish itself is very soft, uh, tender, and it's good to chew on. So next time when you're in Tama uh, Street, drop, drop over to Sing Steamed Fish Restaurant and give this dishes a try. See you guys. If you like our content, remember subscribe and give us a like.